Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, we'll learn how to use Google Map widgets of the Elementor plugin in your website to embed Google Map. For using Google Map plugin, you just need to decide whether you want to use the Google Map inside a single column or you want to use inside a dual column. So I'll show you both the cases. Number one, I'm going to create a section with two columns. First column, I want this section to be there. I'll drag this and I'll drop in this column. And next, I'll go to this one. I'll search Google Map and I'll drop it in this area. Once you'll drop the Google Map, you'll find the first option that is location. Here you can see the location is London I, London, United Kingdom. So you need to enter your own address. Let's move to Google and type Burj Khalifa. And once you type Burj Khalifa, there's an address called one Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. This address is there. Let me leave one and type this particular address in this particular area. And you'll see Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid is there, but it's not showing Burj Khalifa. So for Burj Khalifa, full address is one Burj Khalifa, one Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, PLV, downtown Dubai. So this is the address I'm going to copy the one you have to mention everything you have to copy from the Google and you just entered in this area and it will automatically takes the location. Now if you'll see it's showing Burj Khalifa. This is how elemental location works. Now there's one more way to add the location to your Google map. Just go to the places. Let's say I want to add Burj Khalifa. Then I'll copy the name itself or you can copy from here. Copy your shop name or the business name, whatever you want. Just go ahead and the paste in the location area and it will automatically going to fetch the Burj Khalifa locations. So this is the second way to add your business or the location in the Google map of the Elementor plugin. There is an option called zoom in and zoom out option. Here you could not see the proper location deep zoom in option of the Burj Khalifa. So we want it to display on more focus area. The size will be this only, but it will be more zoom, more zoom as you increase to 19 till 20. As you can see the nearby area of the Burj Khalifa with the zoom option. You can show using zoom option of the Elementor plugin. And next option we have height. You can maintain the height of your Google map column using this option. Let's say you want to maintain the responsivity. So click on the desktop and there you'll find tablets. So the tablet size will be this much and we want to increase that size. Now you can see this is not responsive means it's not getting divided in two column when we choose tablet option. Even if we'll choose mobile option, let's go back to the section or content edit option and then change it to mobile. Yeah, for mobile it's responsive, but for tablets it's not responsive. So we have to change the design and I want it to be responsive. So I'll click on this particular column and in the column width you have to type 100% and for this also you have to go to this option and type for tablet I want it to be 100% and we'll see mobile it's already 100% and for this map also it's already 100% if you want some gap between right and left side you can go maintain you can go to advanced setting and then there you can maintain margin and padding to maintain some gap from right and left side even from top and bottom you can maintain from this particular area and now i'll go to edit this one map and now it seems responsive for me on all devices next option will go to style and there inside style we have a map that means we are going to change the style of the map normal and the hover when the people they hover how it should behave when the when it's normal like no one is hovering over the map how it should behave then there's a css filter click on that and you can blur a little bit map currently it's not required for me blur option you can increase the brightness contrast saturation and hue for the map 
when anyone hover over the map you can edit the css filter let's say a little bit of blur and brightness contrast saturation you can maintain with this particular area and next we have transition duration how fast that blurring should take when anyone hover that css filter you have added that transition duration you can add i added 3 seconds now if i'll hover over this it will take some time to get blur slowly getting blur right if we'll remove this one transition duration it will immediately get blur right so i hope you got these points now we'll learn how to make it in a single column i'll click on this section i'll click on one section then i'm going to pull this particular column in this area and now i'm going to delete there's no use for me for this particular column so i'm going to delete this and i want the map to be aligned responsive as well as in a full column so i'll click on this there's a gap in this area to fulfill these gaps first i'm going to click edit go to content maintain the height and zoom in zoom out you can manage rest you can manage i already taught you next option is the section edit section and then instead of box click on full width and you'll see this map is in a full width structure you can also maintain the column height this is the height for the particular section which we are using now only this much was there inside the google map widgets of the elementor i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you